We had some practice before renaming fractions to decimals in our decimal uh, units. So if you go back into the uh, decimal videos, you'll get some uh, more background on that. But I'm going to expand the concept now to the, to the percentage. So 13 hundredths says in the decimal form, we would have to put our 13, the 3 part, the 3, because it's in columns, would have to go in the hundredths position, because that is the column of the denominator. And then the 13, what would happen is the, the uh, decimal point would move two places to the right, and we're going to the right anyway. Our next column is to the right. And we would take our 13. The decimal point would be here if it was placed, but that would be a whole number, so we don't actually have to show it. It, do, it isn't wrong if you do, but it, do, it isn't necessary. So the 13 would go in the percent column with the percent sign attached to it. So it looks this way. The fraction is 13 hundredths as a uh, over 100, 13 over 100, point 13, 13%. Let's try another. Here's 11 hundredths. This last numeral, this last one, has to be in the column of hundredths. So we would write it this way, and the decimal point would have to go here. That places this one, this number one, in the hundredths column. To change it then to a percent, we would move the decimal place two places over. So we're going to just put our 11 here. We're going to uh, move our decimal point two places to the right and put a percent sign on it. 23 hundredths. Well, we would need the 3 to be in the hundredths position. That means that our decimal point has to go here. To switch it to the percent column, we would visually change the, the uh, decimal point one two places, and it would look like this. Okay, so here's the decimal number, and there's the percent number. So it's fraction, fraction form, decimal form, percent form. Two. Two hundredths. This means that the two has to go into the hundredths position. Well, that means that we're going to have to use a placeholder for that tenth, tenth position. So point two. This would be like if we were talking money, this would be two cents. This would be 23 cents. This would be 11 cents. To take the decimal value to the percent, you simply move the decimal place to, to the decimal point two places to the right, but you're going to the right, so it would be two percent. See how the decimal point went one two and then disappeared. Thirty one hundredths as a fraction. Thirty one hundredths as a decimal. 31 percent.